Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today we're going to do the subtraction snake game. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking for more resources or more support or just a community of teachers or homeschool parents, don't forget to check out my locals community, which is montessoriforeveryone.locals.com. And before we get started with the subtraction snake game, I want to remind you that I have a video on the addition snake game, which comes first. So don't forget to check out the addition snake game video if you want to know how to do addition. And then I would suggest coming back and watching the subtraction video. To start with, we want to show what is already familiar to the child. So there are a lot of things about the subtraction snake game that are the same as the addition snake game. For instance, we're going to build our black and white inverted triangle. And that's going to come from the black and white box. And then of course the colored beads are going to be familiar. That's what we use for doing the addition snake game. And in the addition snake game, we use the colored beads to turn them into a golden snake with the golden beads. But now we're going to show what happens when we introduce these gray beads. And the gray beads are going to look similar to the black and white beads. So now we're ready to show what is different about the subtraction snake game. So as you can see with the gray beads, we have a light side and a dark side. And this is going to contrast the black and white beads. Let me show you what it looks like if we put these in an inverted triangle, just like the black and white beads. So the gray beads are going to follow a similar pattern, but this time the light beads come first and the darker beads come second, which is the opposite of the black and white beads. Now we're going to introduce a brand new rule with these gray beads. We're going to introduce how they take away. But first, let's build our snake before we introduce our rules. We're going to start off really, really small. We're not going to do a very long snake. So I'm going to put these extras back in the box. So notice I didn't use every single one of the gray beads. I only used a few. And one of the important rules when making this snake is that we have to have at least the same amount of colored beads as we do gray beads. It's okay to have more of the colored beads, but we can't have less colored beads than the gray beads because then we get into negative numbers. We're going to start off with the same ideas as the addition snake game. So every time we get to 10, we're going to stop and exchange for a golden 10. Whatever placeholder we're going to need, we're going to use the black and white beads. And then when we get to a gray bead, we're going to stop and take away. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's ten. We can stop and exchange for a golden bead. Now let's see how many we have left over that we need a placeholder for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go up here. Five, six, seven. Here's our placeholder. And now just like with the addition snake game, we're going to put our colored beads in the black and white box and we're going to save those for the very end so we can do our control of error. Now, just like the addition snake game, we're always going to start counting with that black and white bead right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stop. We didn't get to 10, but we did get to a gray bead. So that means we have to stop and take away. However, before we can do that, we need to exchange this for a black and white because we can't take away from a colored bead. So we've got seven, eight, nine. Let's find our nine. Let's exchange that. Put that one back. This one goes into our box to save for later. And now we can take away. And how many are we going to take away? One, two, three. We're going to take away three. So let's count backwards. One, two, three.
Now we're going to take our gray beads and we're going to put them in our black and white box with our colored beads and we're going to save both of these for later to do our control of error. Now that we've taken away, what do you notice? Our snake is getting shorter and the more we take away, the more the snake is going to disappear. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We have ten, so we're going to stop and exchange. We have two left over, so we need our placeholder. The colored bead goes back into the box. The black and white bead goes into our inverted triangle. Okay, so let's start counting with our black and white. One, two, stop. As you can see, we have to take away. How many do we have to take away? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna take away seven this time. So let's count back seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five left. Here's our five. I'm going to put that one back. Now, this golden bead we don't need anymore, so we're going to put it back into the box. And remember these gray beads, we're going to keep those in our black and white box and we're going to save them for the very end. Our snake just got a little bit shorter. Let's start counting again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We have one, two, three, four left. Get our placeholder. All right. Black and white goes back into the triangle. Colored bead goes into the box. And now, let's start counting. We have one, two, three, four, stop. How many we're going to take away? We're going to take away one. That leaves us with three. And that finishes our snake. Now we have to do our control of error and see if we made any mistakes. Let's take everything out of the black and white box. So we have our golden beads and our leftover black bead. And then we have our gray beads. Let's put our colored beads up here for a moment. Get them out of our way. We have our gray beads that we're going to set up. And we have our golden beads. Let's fix that inverted triangle so it looks kind of nice. Now we have to match the colored beads to the gray beads. So they have to match. So first we have five, six, seven. Well, I don't have a seven, but I do have an eight. So I'm going to exchange that for a seven and a one. So I'm going to go to our box. I'm going to make an exchange. Seven and one makes eight. So I'm going to put that to the side because we don't need that anymore because we made an exchange. There's seven and there's one. I have a three. Now I don't have a three in my colored beads, so maybe I'll take my six and I'll break it into two threes. So we've exchanged the six. Now let's see, I can take this three and put it right here. And that leaves me with these two nines, but I'll have to break this two into ones for it to match up perfectly. So let's do that. 
Exchange those for a one. And that's it. That is how we match everything to make sure we did the work correctly. And that is how we do the subtraction snake game. Now, if you have any questions or any comments after watching this video, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have any other requests, just leave that in the comment section below too. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.